Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Managed Workspaces. This lesson is Using Dynamic Capabilities. This lesson will introduce dynamic capabilities that are available in ProjectWise Explorer. So the learning objectives of this lesson are to learn about dynamic capabilities in ProjectWise Explorer, we're going to learn about special variable operators in ProjectWise. These operators allow the dynamic identification of parent work areas. They allow you to avoid needing to create CSBs for each project. And they also allow the location of workset CFG files to be within the project. The parent work area can correspond to the work set route, in this case, Metro Station Redirection. We can then, relative to that location, establish the work sets route. We can also get the name from the work area and use that to identify the work set name. So how does this work? The DMS project variable operator finds the first work area in the variable path. The DMS parent project variable operator finds the parent work area above that. How could this then work? We could use the DMS project variable operator with the variable underbar DGN dir to create a variable called my project dir. We could then use that variable along with the last dir piece variable operator to get the project name. Those could then be assigned to work set name and work set root. Let's next look at work sets root. That could be a defined using a project wise folder directly to the work sets folder that we created similar to our first exercise. Or we could use a relative path relative to our project directory. We could use parent dev dir to do this. The recommended approach, however, would be to use your project directory and point to a work sets folder within the project. Let's now look at a demonstration of these concepts. You'll notice that in a number of cases, I have sped up the video to save time. In this demonstration, we will create an initial dynamic CSB. This CSB will recognize the work area, dynamically determine the work set route using DMS project, then dynamically determine the work set name using the last stir piece. We will then modify that configuration to use the work sets folder that we copied in as the USTN work sets root. After that, we will create another configuration that uses an underbar work sets folder that has been created underneath the work area and use that as work sets root. Let's begin the demonstration by going to Workspaces, Managed, Predefined, and selecting our previously created Minimum Connect configuration. We will copy that to begin the dynamic creation. Let's right click on that, select Properties, and rename the CSB to Minimum Connect Dynamic Configuration. Once we've done that, let's apply and click OK. The next thing we need to do is create our work sets root variable. The next thing we need to do is create a USTN work set root variable that utilizes the dynamic capability. 
we'll click add here and then we will use DMS project as the variable operator here. Let's lock and accept this. The next step is to modify the USTN workset name variable to use last dir piece rather than hard coding the variable name in it. This will utilize the work area name as the workset name. Once you have these values entered, let's click OK on both the dialog boxes. We can then accept the changes to this CSV. Since we have not set up the work sets root, to a different location, we're going to initially utilize this in the Metro Station project within the example redirection workspace. So to do this, we need to upgrade the Metro Station folder to a work area. We then need to apply the new CSB to the Metro Station project. Once that's done, Let's test our configuration. We'll go into 3D model, select the alignment DGN again, and open the file. As always, let's first check our active workspace and work set. To save a little time, I cut out closing and checking in the file. The next thing we want to look at is using the work sets folder that we copied into project wise in lieu of the standard location in the workspace. To do this, we need to go back to project wise administrator and edit the last CSV that we created. We will go into Minimum Connect Dynamic Configuration. We will then create a new variable. This variable will be the USTN WorkSets root variable. To identify this, we will use the project wise folder option and browse to the work sets folder that we created. Accept these changes. Let's go back and lock those. Let's apply Accept those. The next thing we need to do is add the CSB to that folder so that it's applied to that project.
we can then go in and check our configuration. Following the same steps as before, we check our active workspace and work set. We next check our variables. Let's set our filter at the top to work set. And again, check those major variables. Work set name, work set root, and work sets root. Those all appear to be in order. Again, I closed and checked in the file to save a little bit of time. The next thing we want to do is copy the work sets folder into our work area. Let's then rename that, prepinning it with an underbar so it goes to the top of the list. For the next part of the demonstration, let's go back to ProjectWise Administrator, copy and rename the last CSB that we created. We'll just append the name with WorkSet. So now we need to modify the work sets root variable so that it is relative to the work area. To do this, we will modify the variable and utilize the work set root variable that we created earlier. We'll type in the USTN work set root variable, then append that with underbar work sets to identify the location that we copied the files into. Be sure to add a slash at the end of that to the, so that it understands that it's a directory. We can apply and close this. We need to go back and change the CSB since we created a new CSB. So we'll add the new CSB to this. Once we've done this, we're ready to check our work. And we will again follow the exact same process. Check your active workspace and work set. Once you've confirmed that, let's check our variables again. Again, we set our filter to work set.
check the root. We now see work sets is under our work set root. And our work set config is located within that location. So in this lesson, you learned how to use dynamic capabilities. You learned how to use special variable operators in ProjectWise and avoid needing to create individual CSBs for each work area. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.